Have you ever wondered what happens when our bones heal after a fracture? Most people imagine their bones to be the solid and static frame which supports and protects their bodies. Bones, just like any other living part of the human body, are constantly being regenerated and rebuilt. However, after a bad break, sometimes the gap is too large and doctors need to fill the space temporarily in order for the bone to heal. One such source of filler is calcium hydroxide, but you probably know it as limestone. What this filler does is act as a bridge between the two sections of bones. As the bone heals, the filler is usually replaced by new bone. Let's see how this limestone filler is made at Granulab, a Malaysian Bionexus status company. The filler starts out as slurry, which is made up of distilled water and limestone, and stirred using an overhead stirrer. It is then placed inside a spray dry machine and two types of powder forms emerge. These powder forms, which are called cyclone and chamber, are mixed together with a jelly-like substance and stirred in a solution at different speeds to create different size granules. An oven is used to heat them up to 1,500 degrees Celsius in order to sterilize them and create hydroxyapatite. It also makes the granules change to a peculiar light blue color. Regardless of their color, the granules are then washed and stirred in distilled water in order to drop their pH levels before they are again put into an oven to be dried. A sieving machine is used to separate the granules according to different sizes ranging from small to extra large, to be used for different sizes of bone gaps. The separated granules are packed into vials, which are then placed in boxes according to size. And now they are finally ready to be shipped to hospitals. Mending broken bones using natural minerals. This is biotechnology, building the future today.